I'd like to show you one of the systems that I have created using Google Forms. Now, this one is a little bit complex, so this is certainly not a beginner system, but it will illustrate the power of Google Forms, Google Sheets, add-ons, docs, email, the combination of all of those things. Um, this is the system that I've created for um, purchase order registration for my online courses. <clears throat> So this is just a regular Google form that you see here. Um, and we're going to start out with a very simple question. Uh, do you have more than three registrations? This form is designed to register up to three people at a time. If uh, someone has more than three, if we click yes, it's going to take them to this branch of the form, which is going to say, you know what, you should probably complete our bulk registration process. Here's a link to the spreadsheet and it goes on uh, to help them out. We're going to go back and uh, pretend that we only have one registration. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to go ahead and click next. And um, now we're going to begin registering the first person. So I'm just going to register myself uh, for fun. And uh, email address, very good. And what course that I'm going to attend. So this um, I update every time I offer a new course. Do you have someone else to register? If I say yes, it'll take me to a second person, if I say no, then it's going to ask me to enter billing information. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that as well. I'll just make myself the billing um, person. And we'll um, add a purchase order number and click next. So now we're in the final um, page. We're going to go ahead and submit this. Now this is when the system springs into action. So that submission gets dumped into this spreadsheet right here. Uh, it'll update here in a second. And the data is going to be used to generate an invoice. So I'm using the Google Sheet add-on called Autocrat to generate that invoice. Now I'm doing a couple of things in here. I have to run some calculations. Um, that I'm adding. So for example, I have an invoice uh, order or invoice number here, which is being added that wasn't a part of the actual form. So I've added some additional fields in the spreadsheet. Uh, also, um, if you have more than uh, one person that you're registering, each one is $99. And so I have to go in and actually calculate the total for the invoice so that you'll see here if we go to the end, again, this is uh, these are columns that I've added in the sheet. They're not represented in the form. Purchase order total, this is going to um, add up all of the, uh, the fields here. So in this case, it's only $99, but if you had you know, three, it's going to go up from there. Now, um, I'm using several different add-ons here to make this possible. I'm using a, an add-on called Copy Down, which takes the formula from the last row and then copies it to the next row. I'm also using Autocrat to automatically generate uh, these invoices. So here is the invoice um, that's being emailed to the billing contact. This is a Google Doc, uh, which is being turned into a PDF. Um, so we can see the billing contact, school district, the invoice number, the total, individual cost, and all that information uh, on one page. So this is going to be sent via email. Um, in a minute, I'll get email confirmation. I'm actually going to end up getting it twice, one because I put myself as a billing contact, and then one because I always get those emails. So this is what they look like right here. It has that PDF attached. So this does take quite a bit of time to set up, but once you have it working, it's mostly hands off. All I have to do is go in and add my new course every time I have a new course. So occasionally I have to go in and fix a problem. There'll be an error message every once in a while, but uh, other than that, it's a pretty hands-free system, definitely worth uh, the investment of time at the front end.